Hello guys, welcome back to Storytime Mania World 4 with your host, Zanra Tisano. And uh, now I usually make the art for my books on Ibis Paint X website. And it actually does more because you get to blur the colors together. And here is the story that we're going to be reading today. Mr. Men and Little Miss in Hawaii. Original concept by Roger Hargreaves, written and illustrated by Xander Tisano, also known as Storytime Mania World 4. Little Miss Sunshine was going for a walk and decided to go to the beach, but on her way she bumped into Mr. Clever. It's too cold to go to the beach, said Mr. Clever. Then he had a better idea. He wanted to go to the North Pole, but Little Miss Sunshine felt like it was not a good idea, so she decided to go vacationing in Hawaii and invited some of her friends to join her. Even Mr. Clever joined her. Next morning, everyone packed their suitcases and boarded the plane. Mr. Quiet had his earphones so he doesn't get distracted by the noise from the others. And Little Miss Shy sat in the front seat of the plane because she was too shy to see everyone and thought that she shouldn't go on Little Miss Sunshine's Hawaii trip, but managed to go. Mr. Rush also sat in the front seat of the plane because he was such in a rush to get to Hawaii. Almost everyone was excited, even Little Miss Shy by only a meter. The plane landed in the Maui Island in an hour, and later everyone got out of the plane, with Mr. Rush being the fastest in first, and Little Miss Shy being the slowest in last. She was too shy that she did not want to enjoy Little Miss Sunshine's company, so she covered herself with her towel and laid in the sand. Everyone else but her had fun. Everyone but her spent the day building sandcastles, playing volleyball, and swimming in the ocean, while she just sat and sunbathed with the towel covering her face. It will come to no surprise that Little Miss Dottie has worn winter clothes on her way to Hawaii. That's because she was from Nonsense Land. People from Nonsense Land wear the winter clothes at the beach. Imagine that? Miss Dottie laughed when she saw the sand because in Nonsense Land the sand wasn't yellow. It was pink. And in Nonsense Land, they don't make sand castles. They make dirt castles. The next day they sailed to Honolulu to visit the Ali Yolani Hail, which excited Little Miss Sunshine and Mr. Quiet. Not for Mr. Noisy. He hated it. That was too quiet, so he stayed outside. Everyone else went in to explore what they saw in the Ali Yolani Hail. Little Miss Shy also walked into the Ali Yolani Hail, but she was too shy to go with everyone, so she did her own tour. However, she was lost and could not find the way out, so she ran around the buildings to go find the exit. Luckily, she bumped into Mr. Quiet, Little Miss Sunshine, who was helpful enough to find her way out of the Aliolani Hail. Oh, thank you, said Little Miss Shy, and blushed bright red, and when she walked out, Mr. Noisy was not outside anymore. He disappeared. Not long after everyone has left the Ali Ioani Hale, they also went back to Maui and explored the Iao Valley. The Miss Blended like the view of the peaks. I can see Honolulu and Ohau from here, said the Miss Blended, but I don't see the island of Hawaii. We'll get there later, said the Miss Sunshine. But it was not the type of Miss Shy. Mr. Noisy loud voice of, This view is gorgeous made her jump into the air and blush from her head to her toes. Oh dear, said Little Miss Shy. That was terrifying. To cheer herself up, she swam all the way to Ohau to do her own hula dancing. By the time she arrived at Ohau, it was sunset. However, Miss Sunshine liked to do hula dancing more than Little Miss Shy. She even did a dance class with the other hula dancers, with the others watching her. Brilliant, said Mr. Clever. I should try this. You can join, said Little Miss Sunshine. Follow moves these people are doing. And everyone else decided they wanted to try hula dancing too. After everyone followed the moves of hula dancing, they were hungry. So they sailed down to a restaurant in the island of Hawaii. The restaurant had an assortment of Hawaiian food that looked good. Mr. Greedy was impressed 
worked with it. It ate everything. He ate all the fish. He ate all the pokey. He ate all the lala. He ate all the fried rice and the pineapple. He even ate all the shaved ice. Oh, Mr. Greedy! You should have left some food for us. Mmm, that was delicious. But there's other people too. Without any dinner, they all went to a Hawaiian food truck. Mr. Greedy did not have enough, so he brought six more pokies, four lalas, four hapias, five squid laws, and three shaved ice. Mmm, said Mr. Greedy. After dinner, they drove to Honolulu, and everyone got a view of the Aloha Tower glowing at night. Mr. Clever liked it a lot, and so did Little Miss Sunshine. Little Miss Shy was too shy to see the Aloha Tower and hid behind someone's car. The next day, they drove to the Iolani Palace to visit the throne room. Little Miss Splendid was very excited to see the throne room as she'd never seen it before. So Miss Sunshine asked the manager of the palace to find where the room was located. With lucky help, everyone followed the manager and got their take of the throne room. Everyone liked it. This room looks very tidy, said Mr. Busy, who they suddenly bumped into. Mr. Busy was also a hat Ohai, but he wasn't vacationing. He was cleaning the rooms in the palace. On the last day of their trip to Hawaii, Little Miss Sunshine wanted to do a surfboard contest. Little Miss Whips was the first to go. Everyone was worried that Little Miss Whips would fall, so Little Miss Sunshine asked Mr. Rush and Mr. Quiet to hold on to the surfboard. But with Mr. Rush and Little Mr. Quiet's help holding the surfboard, Little Miss Whips quickly lost her balance and fell right into the water. Shortly after Little Miss Whips fell into the water, she found herself surrounded by a mermaid and some treasure with diamonds and pearls. Hello, are you okay? said the mermaid. I just fell off a surfboard and I landed in here, said Little Miss Whips, so I might as well talk to you. And so she did. Little Miss Whips and the mermaid became best friends. Back at the beach, the others were worried, and Little Miss Sunshine decided to cancel the surfboard contest because she didn't know if Little Miss Whips was hurt. Suddenly, Mr. Rush saw a figure moving through the water. Could that be Little Miss Whips? asked Mr. Quiet. Little Miss Sunshine found something shiny in Little Miss Whips' hand. Is that a ring? asked Mr. Clever. Little Miss Whips swam out of the ocean and said something expected. I saw the mermaid, said Little Miss Whips, and I've got a jewel for you. Oh, Little Miss Whips, that's so shiny, I'll keep it. Why don't you say so, Miss Sunshine? Hello there, and welcome to the end credits. So hopefully you like this book. Please hit that like button, comment down in the comment section below, and... Don't forget to subscribe. This is Storytime Annie World 4, signing out. Until the next book.